All right, what's good YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from Town Center, Las Vegas, just a couple of miles south of the Strip, where we're going to Siki's Garage Burgers and Brew for a burger lunch. Now, I've had several good burgers here on the channel, but many of you have commented that Siki's is the place to go for a good burger here in Las Vegas, and it's my first time here. I'm happy to check it out. Let's head on inside. All right, everybody, so here we are seated at Siki's Garage Burgers and Brew, very cool spot. Garage is in the name and it's definitely in the game here. You have all of those automotive decorative pieces around and that really great theme going. A nice number of TVs surrounding the location here, giving you plenty of programming to watch and a nice upbeat atmosphere. I really like it here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got to eat and drink, starting with the beverage menu. Now here is their drink menu. You've got all of the names of the drinks here with those car themes and those automotive themes. Very nice. And there's actually a backside to that menu as well. Let's take a look at that. Got adult milkshakes spiked with alcohol on the back here, as well as a nice list of margaritas and some energy drinks. And you can catch the beers on tap here. A pretty good looking beverage menu there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Jack and Coke, I think today. And let's go and take a look at the menu while I wait for that to arrive. Very nice looking menu here. Sticking with that garage theme, let's take a look. Here are their appetizers. I apologize about the glare of this lamp. It looks like a lot of uh, deep fried goodness here as your appetizers. Award winning chicken wings, very nice. And your array of sauces as well as a wild willy style down here. And then here we go, original burgers. You've got bun choice as well as patty choices. They got American Wagyu beef here as well as different types of buns. Pretzel or brioche bun sounds pretty good today. Here are all of their original burgers. That looks pretty good. Sicky's Burger, that sounds insane. Bacon, fried egg, pulled pork, sauce. Maybe I'll get it. Here are all the sides you have available. Baked beans, coleslaw, veggies, and tater tots. And then half pound signature Wagyu burgers. This all looks pretty good. And then super, tri I mean, they've just got burgers on burgers here, you guys. It's uh. Pretty insane looking. Very nice. And here are some additional bowls as well as mac and cheese bowls. Chowzilla, what is this? A fire breathing monster burger. Crazy. And then again, your sides down here. All looks really good. And then we've got chicken sandwiches here. As well as slick sandwiches. Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, this looks pretty good. And then we've got some salads here, everybody. As well as your list of entrees. Chicken fried chicken, meatloaf and the like. And then here we have some baskets, fish and chips, chicken strips, as well as a kid's menu. And here are some adult shakes and your standard shakes. We have lunch specials on the back here, include soda, four hours every day, and all of these look to be under, let's see, under $11. So that's a pretty solid deal for uh, for lunch if you're making it, making your way here to Sickies. Now that's a pretty good looking menu, and while I was reading it out, I went ahead and got that Jack and Coke. Actually, I think it's called a Black and Coke. Cheers to you, thank you so much for being in the video with me. Ooh, nice. Very generous pour here. I taste a ton of the Jack. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue sipping on this and I'll see you in a little bit when my appetizers arrive. Hey everybody, so my first appetizer arrived and these are the Sickies Nachos. These are seasoned waffle fries covered in buffalo chicken along with cheese sauce, tomatoes, chives, olives, sour cream. This is looking and smelling really incredible. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yes, that's a very tasty appetizer. I actually love the seasoned waffle fries. They have a great crisp and they're really well seasoned. They've got a great flavor. The cheese sauce is nice and rich here, but it's really the buffalo chicken that adds that really nice spicy heat flavor and the meatiness of the chicken is a welcome bite as well. If you're able to get some of that sour cream on there to cool everything down a little bit, it's a nice welcome mix. I gotta say, these are really good and fun nachos to eat. 
All right, everybody, so the nachos were pretty good, but my next appetizer is here, and I went in on some boneless wings. Now, typically, I'm more of a traditional wing-style guy, but taking all the B-roll of this food, I didn't want to get my fingers all dirty, so I went with boneless wings today. Now, the two flavors I opted in for is the sweet chili, as well as something that looked really interesting, their peanut butter and jelly wing. It comes with a raspberry jelly sauce. It just sounded really intriguing, so I wanted to give it a try. Let's go and give it a taste. Now, you can definitely smell the peanut off of this sauce. Nice, thick, brown peanut sauce here. And then let's dip it into this raspberry jelly sauce. And let's go and give that a try. Yeah, that's everything they advertise. It's peanut butter and jelly chicken. You know, it's very interesting. I gotta tell you, initially, when I first bit into it, I didn't know what to think. You get the nuttiness of the peanut butter. You do get that nice sweetness from the jelly. While I wasn't sure if I initially enjoyed it, as I continued chewing, it actually became a very welcoming flavor. The chicken is nice and crisp, juicy in the center. It's very unique and actually very tasty. I like that one a lot. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and try their sweet chili sauce. I'm definitely a big fan of sweet chili sauces. Let's go and give the sickies one a try. Yeah, that's a very tasty sauce. Now, this is a very nice sweet heat sauce, everybody. But what I actually love about it is how the flavors are actually a little bit cyclical. You initially got a lot of those sugary flavors, but then that heat really started to kick through. It was a nice low heat. But what I actually liked about it afterwards is you get another wave of sweetness, which then turned into heat. It was this nice ebb and flow of flavors. I really liked it. I gotta say, pretty solid wing game here at Sickies. I also heard that on Fridays and Saturdays, I believe from 9 p.m. to closing, they have all-you-can-eat wings for under 20 bucks. I might actually return for that one day and try their traditional wings. Their boneless ones are solid, but I'm more of a traditional wing kind of guy, so I might come back for that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue munching on these wings, and I'll see you in a little bit when my burger arrives. All right, everybody, so my first of two burgers have arrived and this is their barbecue burger. Now, I thought I would order two burgers today, one that's a little more akin to what I would personally order if I were to come to Sickies on my own, and that's this barbecue burger here. And the second, well, you're gonna have to see as a surprise, I just thought it looked really interesting on the menu, so I wanted to give it a shot for you two. But for now, let's go ahead and go in on this barbecue burger. Nice big half pound patty here. This is looking and smelling so good. I'm really in the mood for a nice beefy burger today, so this is perfect. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh man, that is a really satisfying cheeseburger. This nice fluffy brioche bun is really buttery. I like it a lot. Nice, light and airy, solid burger bun here. Now I asked for my burger cooked medium today. This is looking a little bit closer to medium well, but it does not detract from the flavor at all. Nice and beefy flavors here. But what I really appreciate, and you can see here, is the crust that they've made on this burger patty. Now the cheese is giving a great richness here, and those onion strings also providing a great crispiness and nice texture. It has a really nice seasoned flavor. I like this burger a lot. It's really good. You know, I'm really digging that burger. Let's go and try their fries next. These fries are feeling super crispy in my hands. I mean, this is looking pretty solid to me. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, that's a nice french fry. I love the additional dredge that they've added to the outside. It's gonna ensure that it stays crispy longer and it's seasoned, so it has a great flavor. The potato is nice and fluffy on the inside, and overall, it's got a great salt level. I have no complaints, this is a really good french fry. All right, everybody, so I'm really enjoying this barbecue burger. I'm gonna take a couple more bites and probably take the rest to go because I've got another amazing sandwich coming. I'll see you in a little bit when that shows up. All right, everybody, so my next sandwich has arrived and this is the Chowzilla. Now, this is two massive burger patties in between three slices of Texas toast along with fried jalapenos, fried pickles, and peppered bacon. This looked like the biggest burger they had, so I just wanted to go in and give it a try and this thing is ridiculous. I mean, this thing is even tough to hold, to be honest with you. It's really unwieldy. I guess nothing to it but to do it. Let's go and give the Chowzilla burger a try. Uh... Where do you even go in on this thing? Let's see. Mm. <laughs> wow, only one word comes to mind from that burger. Rich. 
so incredibly decadent. The amount of beef juices from that initial bite was incredible. Now these burgers are cooked a little more closer to medium, got a nice hot pink center. The beef patties are actually quite juicy and flavorful. The pepper bacon is leading to a lot of really great saltiness here. And you can really see all that nice pepper there giving a little kick, but it's really when you bite into one of those fried jalapenos that the flavor explodes. Really great heat from that, nice flavors. Again, very decadent, very rich burger here, but very tasty as well. Now that burger was a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down with a little bit of this coleslaw. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Now I gotta say, this coleslaw was actually the perfect side for me. Cutting through a lot of the richness of that burger is the vinegar and the sweetness of the coleslaw. Very welcome, for sure. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go and take just a couple more bites of this sandwich and then put it away for takeaway. I think if I were to try and eat the whole thing, I'd definitely fall into a coma. I think we'll go ahead and check out a dessert menu and I'll see you in a little bit when my dessert option arrives. All right, everybody, so my dessert is here and I went with our apple nachos. Now, not a huge selection of desserts here, but one definitely piqued my interest. I mean, look at this, apple pie nachos. How could you not want to give this a try? I gotta tell you, it smells absolutely heavenly and I cannot wait to give this a taste. Now, this apple topping is piping hot. You can see the steam. It's actually warped all of these crisp nacho chips. Hopefully I don't burn my faith eating these. Let's go in and give it a try. Oh man, that is really good. I gotta tell you, the cinnamon sugar flavor here is outstanding. The apples are providing their nice sweetness as well. The crisp tortilla strips have soaked up this apple flavor perfectly. You get a little bit of that whipped cream to cool it all down as well. And this is a very good dessert. I like this one a lot. All right, everybody, and that does it for my lunch here at Siki's Garage Burgers and Brew. Now my lunch came out to roughly $107 before tip, and I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed my lunch today. I definitely made the right choice with that barbecue burger. I liked it a lot. Those Sikki's nachos were actually a very fun appetizer to eat. And these apple nachos are actually a really good dessert. Now, are these the best burgers in Vegas? You know, they're pretty high up there. I've got to try a couple more to really give my ranking, but I certainly would not be offended by coming here and eating a great burger lunch. Now, go and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy food content from here in Las Vegas, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy Vegas with me. Shin. Bye.